what part of our beautiful city would you like to see today, sir? I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. Here we are, sir. A good day to you, driver. Have a good day, sir. 6 o'clock a.m. 6.15 6, 6.45 a.m. 7 o'clock a.m. This is the key ring I borrowed from Devlin Goldacre at the Hades Club. I chanced upon this illuminated manuscript in Alfred Horner's bookstore. Hello, Alexander. Would you like some breakfast? No, thank you. How are you feeling today, Juliet? Tired. So very tired. What have you done with the garlic? Dr. Van Helsing has put it up for Juliet's health. Oh, that's my doing. Juliet could barely breathe for that awful odor. I finally threw them out and opened a window for her. I'm sorry, my dear friend, but I don't think I shall be strong enough to see your father off. I feel as though I've been running. Just like in my dream. I feel so very weak. Oh, you silly goose. I wouldn't let you go to a dreary old funeral in your condition anyway. You stay right here and don't budge a muscle until we get back. I'll have Miss Culpepper stay here to keep you company. Oh, there's no need to do that. I'll stay with you while the others are away. Here. At least you can be with us in spirit. <laughs> I have seen two things today that bother me terribly. First, the absence of the garlic Van Helsing left, and second, Juliet's refusal of the cross necklace. Certainly neither bode well. That journey will take 30 minutes to go from Notting Hill to Marble Arch. Hmm. It will take me 15 minutes to go from Notting Hill to Kensington. That journey will take 15 minutes to go from Kensington to Marble Arch. 7.30 a.m. Good day, sir. Where might I be taking you? I'd like to go to 71 Queen's Gate, Kensington. Here we are, sir. Safe and sound. Good day, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. The stairs are down the hall. Go straight and you can't miss them. I'm sorry, I'm not looking for the way out. I'd hoped you could help me with this Romanian manuscript I found. What? Why didn't you say so? Here, have a seat. <coughs> Authentic? I do believe it is, yes. It appears to be a medieval book of magic. See, it's just filled with, with so-called spells. Here's one that's tied to an amulet of power. It also speaks about bringing the dead back to life. Oh my, let me just jot down a few notes and I promise I will tell you more tomorrow. I don't know if Dr. Briarcliff belongs at the university or in an asylum. Still, he may have hit on something with his amulet. I wonder what Van Helsing will say. Eight fifteen a.m.
By carriage, it will take 30 minutes to go from Kensington to Westminster. That journey will take 20 minutes to go from Marble Arch to Westminster. That journey will take 15 minutes to go from Kensington to Marble Arch. Hmm, it will take me 15 minutes to go from Kensington to Notting Hill. Good day, sir. Where might I be taking you? Fifty six Rochester and Marble Arch Driver. You better bundle your coat, sir. We're here. Good day, driver. Have a good day, sir. I read your journal, Jonathan. To think all this happened. It's monstrous. Yes, I sometimes prefer to believe it was all the product of a fevered mind. But I know better. Indeed, had it not been for me, I fear my senses would have deserted me completely during those trying days. I'm glad it helped you, but... But what? I fear there may be pages yet to be written. I return Jonathan's diary. I pray his fears are unfounded, but I suspect otherwise. Eight forty five AM And where will we be off to this fine day? Please take me to ninety eight Rutherford, Westminster. Here we are, sir. Safe and sound. Good day, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. So, you come to read about our local ghouls. Or a bit of games that go. Pardon me? You ain't had. Dug up an entire cemetery they did. Took everything, coffin and all. Between you and me. And friend Max says whoever done it must have sneaked in during the day. He locks that place up tight as a drum at night. After picking up a paper, I pasted articles of interest in my journal. Grave robbers plunder St. Joseph's. Grave robbers have struck the cemetery of St. Joseph's in Paddington, taking a few of the recently deceased, coffins and all. Henry Breedlove, groundskeeper of the cemetery, believed that the actions took place between the hours of 1 and 2 a.m. Breedlove commented, I make my rounds and promptly close the gates at 8 p.m. It's impossible to enter the cemetery after that, but some scoundrel did. Anyone with information about this event should contact Scotland Yard immediately. Slasher victim found at dockyards. The slasher has struck again for the third time this week. The decapitated corpse of Earl Cranston, 63, was found in a barrel near the dockyards. He was bloodless like all the others. Scotland Yard has increased manpower on the case, hoping to capture the fiend. Mr. Cranston is survived by no one. Personal. My love, I dream of you and the world that we shall create together. The cattle graze, not knowing that they are fattened for slaughter. Lucy. Nine twenty AM.
By carriage, it will take 45 minutes to go from... Hmm. It will take me 40 minutes to go from Westminster to Paddington. 9.20 a.m. And where can I take you today, sir? I'd like to go to 33 Coventry, Paddington. Right on time, sir. A good day to you, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I would like to end this sad event by announcing that there will now be a gathering of the friends of Andrew Bowen at the home of Arthur and Regina Holmwood, Lord and Lady Godalming. Everyone is invited. Alexander, have you met Reverend Jenkins? No, it's my pleasure. The pleasure is mine. Uh, Mina has told me something of your situation. I believe I may be able to send her something tomorrow morn which could help you. Thank you. Alexander, the Homewoods are about to leave. Oh, Lord and Lady Godalming, I must thank you for your kindness. Think nothing of it, my dear. Do you remember my old patient, Renfield? The bug eater. Yeah, very well. Well, recently... If ever there's began. anything I can do for you, please let me know. You're very kind. Attending Andrew Bowen's funeral brought back images of Quincy. To think that vampires might have been responsible for both their deaths. It's unthinkable. Good day, sir. Where might I be taking you? I'd like to go to 52 Bishop's Bridge, Paddington. I'm happy to say that we have finally arrived. A good day to you, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. I'm glad you could join us, Alexander. Renfield has become even wilder than when you saw him. <gasps> So, the esteemed doctor comes to learn from me. <laughs> You're too late. Too late. Too late. The master has been reborn. Revived. Come, out with it. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. The master will have his revenge. You're too late. <laughs> and then, then he will make me like him. <laughs> doctor. You're too late. Too late! Too late! <laughs> I guess now we're even. A life for a life. It does not matter. Nothing matter now. What men feel say is true. Mean we all dead men. First vampires and now lunatics. That's the second time I had to stop a madman. I may have saved Dr. Van Helsing's life, but I'm afraid I can't wash away his pain and sorrow. Where will Betsy be taking us today, sir? Please take me to 45 Holland, Notting Hill. I'm pleased to say that we've arrived at our destination, sir. A good day to you, driver. Good day, sir. 12.10 p.m.
Mr. Morris, I have examined the cloth you left me. It is close to 125 years old. I believe it is a burial cloth of a royal family. The Middle European weave supports this theory. The blood stain is recent. Brandon Briarcliff. Middle European. I received a reply from Briarcliff concerning the cloth. It is indeed over a century old and is of Middle European origin. I wonder if I know anyone knowledgeable about that area. This is the strange white cloth I found in Andrew Bowen's hand. And what part of our beautiful city would you like to see today, sir? Please take me to 21 Scarsdale Villa, Kensington. Better bundle your coat, sir. We're here. Good day, driver. Right, have a good day, sir. Mr. Stransikowski, I hope you'll pardon the intrusion, but I understand you hail from Czechoslovakia. You see, I've come across the strangest fabric. I understand it's of Middle European origin. I was wondering if you might know something. My wife! You stole this from my wife! I buried her in this dress. Damn you! You stole this from my wife! You stole this from her! They lied. I knew she still lived. They lied. I'm coming, Ileana! Whenever I see Stransikowski, he acts even stranger than the last time we met. Now he claims the cloth I found in Mr. Bowen's hand belonged to his dead wife. By carriage, it will take 30 minutes to go from Kensington to Westminster. And where will we be off to this fine day? I'd like to go to 19 St. Augustine's, Westminster. I'm pleased to say that we have arrived at our destination, sir. A good day to you, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. I can't thank you and Arthur enough for all you've done. I think nothing of it. So, where is young Quincy? Oh, we've sent him off to be with his grandparents. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, what with the holiday and all, you must be counting the days until his return. Actually, we've found ways to pass the time. I do wish Juliet could be here. I don't believe the two of you have met her. She's been quite ill recently. So, tell us about your wedding plans. Oh, I've already picked out a dress of the purest white. Father would have been so proud. I'm sure he would have, my dear. I'm sure he would have. The gathering at the Homewoods was pleasantly uneventful and certainly a kind gesture from Arthur and Regina. They are true friends. And where will we be off to this fine day? Please take me to 20 Surrey, The Strand. I'm happy to say that we have finally arrived. A good day to you, driver. Good day, sir.
Professor, I didn't think to find you here. Oh, Mr. Morris, please sit. Let me tell you, when lunatic is trying to kill you, you drink too, yeah? Thank God Renfield did not succeed. Yeah, thanks be to God. And to you, Mr. Morris. But if what he is saying be true, then perhaps I wish otherwise. Tell me what's happening, Professor. For Quincy's sake, if not for mine. Ah, if Quincy were here, then I would have strength enough. I'll not hear this, sir. You were the strongest among us. If you falter in these times of trouble, what hope is there for the rest of us? You are right. I must not give in. I tell you what is disturbing me so. In all my thoughts, my nightmares, never did I conceive of this. He has risen, Mr. Morris. Dracula. How can this be? As yet I do not know. We meet at Jonathan Harker's house tonight. We must be putting this fiend back into his grave forever. Wait a moment, Professor. I found this at a local bookstore. Ah. Here's the word for amulet, and here death, and here life. Clue, this might be. I have friend at university, Randall Briarcliff. Perhaps he is saying more. Come to Harkos tonight, bring this with you. Thank you, Professor. I shall meet you tonight. I met Van Helsing at the pub. He told me Dracula is alive. Could it be? There's a meeting tonight at the Harkers I must not miss. He also recommended I give the manuscript to a professor at the university. It could be a clue to Dracula. Three forty-five p.m. By carriage, it will take 20 minutes to go from the Strand to King's Cross. And where will we be off to on this fine day? Please take me to 12 Oldbury, King's Cross. We're here, sir. Good day, driver. Good day, sir. Excuse me, do you have any books on vampires? What? What did you say your name was? Alexander Morris, sir. Well, Mr. Morris, I would advise you to leave such things which do not concern you well enough alone. Those who unearth such things often end up in the earth. Unbelievable. Alfred Horner actually threatened my life today. I want to find out what his secret is, but I mustn't take his words lightly. Four twenty PM Where will Betsy here be taking us today, sir? Fifty six Rochester and Marble Arch Driver. Right on time, sir. Good day, driver. Right. Have a good day, sir. You are all wondering why I am calling this meeting, huh? Well, you all come here for the same reason ten years ago. Count Dracula, the Prince of Darkness. Once again, he has risen from beyond the grave. Impossible. It can't Not be. Oh. Brandy, quickly. Yeah, I am feeling like Mina when I am discovering the truth. 
Now I am ready for what we must do. But you helped us kill him. You assured us we had nothing to fear. Once we had no fear, now I am telling you what I find. Miss Juliet Adams has the Nosferatu bite on her young neck. That doesn't mean it's Dracula. You yourself said he isn't the only vampire. There be more, my impetuous friend. I am seeing our old nemesis Renfield. I know he has once again fallen under Dracula's power. I believe it as strongly as in anything I ever believe. But how could he come back? What could he possibly want with Juliet? I am afraid I do not know. Actually, I believe I may have come across something. At the Goldacre and Horner bookstore, I chanced upon an odd Romanian manuscript. Dr. Briarcliff at the university said it uh, mentioned a spell to bring back the dead and an amulet of power. It could well be that this is somehow tied to Dracula. After all, Juliet is Devlin Goldacre's fiancée. Yeah, all these things, they may well be connected. I must be thinking on this. To work we get. Jonathan, from your office we work. Mina, we spare you the invasion of your home. Alexander, you see to Miss Anneset. Help her to be watching Juliet. Let me know when our Dr. Briarcliff is telling you more. I'll check with some other solicitors and see if we can pinpoint the demon's havens. I'm going to check on Regina. I'll not lose another to that fiend. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, my friend. Van Helsing's story may have put the fear of God into our friends, but they seem more than capable of the task at hand. I feared the news might drive them away, but they seem more than willing to carry out whatever Van Helsing may be planning. Well, gentlemen, we meet again on the morrow. Yes, that will be fine. Doctor, just how powerful is this count? Oh, he can do many things. The powers of storm and beast are just a few. How did you stop that wolf? Wolfsbane! Why would a wolf run from this? I'm afraid that was no mere wolf. We must be checking on the others. Make sure they're all right. What are you waiting for? Once more, I owe Dr. Van Helsing my life, for there can be no doubt that Dracula wants me dead. But why would the Count risk attacking me with a professor present? Good evening, sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? Please take me to 45 Holland, Notting Hill. Here we are, sir. Thank you, driver. Good evening to you, sir. Eight forty five PM. What a horrifying dream. Those who first killed Dracula were killing me. I hope these dreams are not prophetic. One forty-five a.m. Where can I take you today, sir?
I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. I'm happy to see that we have finally arrived. Good day, driver. And a good day to you, sir. 1.50 a.m. This wolfsbane reminds me that we are dealing with the supernatural. Both Anaset and Juliet have gone to sleep, blissfully unaware of the threat hovering over us. So that they may rest, I shall watch over them this night. What are you doing here? Don't be frightened, Alexander. After all, Alexander, it's only a game. <laughs> what are you doing asleep? We are the ladies. Oh dear Lord, quick! We have no time to lose! We are too late for Miss Adams. But we may yet save Anaset. Anaset? I mean, what happened? How did he get in? You, you leave now. You no good to us like this. Harker's office tomorrow morning. We give her fresh blood. But you, you leave. Sew it, my bag in the front hall. I can't believe I let this happen. That vile creature has befouled sweet Anisette and Juliet lies murdered. How could I have failed them so?